Well, technology changes, technology advances, and now we are looking on the period where cloud really becomes important and becomes mature. Uh, it was a few years ago, we were just discussing about uh, whether cloud could be helping us with our workflows. Now we know that it's happening, and uh, it's not only about OBS, which has been one of the uh, early adopters of cloud, but now it's about the whole MRH community. All the rights holders also now see the benefits of cloud. That's a huge, huge difference between just three years ago with the Tokyo Games. Uh, now cloud becomes a mainstream way of distributing content and in the context of a very, very big event like the Olympics. That's now where we see that uh, um, a lot of the global audience is going to be consuming the Olympic content through distribution over the cloud. Satellite broadcasting has been around for years and has served as well, but it also comes with uh, several uh, inflexibilities. Cloud is much more flexible, it is much more cost effective, and it can uh, allow global distribution in a very much more effective way. Well, very, very big benefit has to do about cost. I mean, it's a far more cost effective way of uh, distributing content on a massive scale globally. It has a global reach same as a satellite or sometimes even better and uh, allows also broadcasters uh, to uh, have uh, much easier access to the whole content that we are offering. Uh, there is a big difference between what you can do for a small number of channels when you do satellite distribution and what you can do with cloud which is essentially you can send out the whole uh, live production that you are creating. Well, a great story was how the whole thing started. Uh, it was just in three years ago in the Tokyo Games there was uh, one broadcaster that came very, very late, I would say on the last moment, uh, with a very also demanding uh, uh, request of how to transmit their content back to their own country. Not only they wanted to have access to all our live content, but they wanted also to do it in UHD. That doing this in the last moment uh, for the Olympics is a big challenge. That's where we first used cloud. We were all of us a bit stressed about whether it's going to be uh, successful and it was fantastic when we saw that you know everything went smooth the broadcaster was extremely happy and the result was beyond expectation it's a great partnership i mean uh, alibaba cloud not only is a very sophisticated and very high capacity cloud but uh, even more important for us uh, the people behind alibaba cloud can provide us the customization and the level of support that we need uh, which for a, a major event like the Olympics is essential. Uh, it's not only about uh, having access to cloud and uh, in the way that the cloud normally works. It's all about also having a higher level of support. And this is not something that you find easily. So we started our journey together uh, and it was great really to work together with a professional team from Alibaba. We have a lot of exciting new applications based on AI working together with Alibaba. A great one is our multi-camera replay system. It is a, a very uh, interesting way of producing content. We are having a, a 3D type of effect uh, where we are freezing the action around the athlete and uh, we can go all around and see the details about their, their moves and uh, how they are succeeding in competing. Uh, that is done with our collaboration with, uh, with Alibaba using their own uh, Alibaba uh, multi-camera replay tools. Uh, that's a great, great application, but there are more. Uh, one extremely uh, exciting type of application is where you're using AI to enhance existing archival content uh, from the past games. Uh, an excellent example of that is the colorization uh, initiative that we are doing together with Alibaba when it comes to the Paris 24.